Hi, my name is Zarana, Photoshop Product Manager, and I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of some cool performance enhancements that we're working on. Here we are in Photoshop, and what I'd like to show you first is a feature that's been requested by many people, and that's Background Save. Here I have an image open, it's about one gig, and what this means is that I actually can go to save it, and while it's saving, I can actually hop on over to any other image and continue working without disruption. Up here in the title bar, you can see a progress that's showing me the progress of the save, as well as down here in the document info bar. So while that's saving in the background, let me go ahead and show you another really cool performance enhancement that we have with the Liquify plugin. Here I have an image that's just over 100 megs, and with that same image, let's pop back over to Photoshop CS5 to see what we're starting with in terms of performance. I'm going to go ahead and bring this into Liquify, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of performance issue. There's some tiling as the image is coming in, and further, if I want to increase my brush size beyond 1500 pixels, I can't. It's maxed out. Let's go ahead and do this S stroke here, and you'll notice that there's a lag happening. Okay, This is not real-time editing. Now let's take a peek at what we're working on for Liquify now. First off, let's bring that same image into Liquify, and you'll notice immediately the image pops open, no tiling. Further, if I go to my brush size, notice that I can now go beyond 1500 pixels. Also, we've hooked up the shortcuts so you can resize your brush directly on canvas. Let's go ahead and do that same S stroke, and you can see real-time editing, no lag. Your edits immediately follow your cursor. Now back in Photoshop, notice my background image is done saving, and I was actually able to continue to save and work quickly with no disruption. So there you have it, background save in Photoshop and Liquify running on the GPU.